YouTube welcome back to my channel today's video is my makeup basket for the week of October the 20th um, I am going to jump right in I also have two other videos coming up this week on some palettes that I picked up so I decided to separate them into two separate um, videos and I'll show you right quick so it'll be a be a video on these two revolution palettes and it'll be a video on these two LA Girl palettes. And it'll be a swatch video. And one of those palettes I did use today to do my um, eyeshadow. And it is the, which one is this? This is the Allure palette. The Forever Flawless Allure palette. So stay tuned for those videos coming up this week. Today, I am just going to show you what I am going to be drawing from or using or whatever. <laughs> However that turns out this week. Um, this is going to be mostly a Bare Minerals week. And the reason why I decided to do a Bare Minerals week is because QVC has a um, TSV coming up on Tuesday, I believe, the 22nd. And if I can like get a screenshot of it, I'll show you what the collection is going to be um, from QVC. But I, I'm assuming that it's their holiday collection from Bare Minerals. So I decided to have a Bare Minerals week. And um, the first thing that I'm going to show you is the foundation that I'm going to be using this week. Which is also the foundation that I have on today. And it is a mixture of two of the Bare Minerals Bare Pro foundations. So I have it in Chai 26, which is a little bit too light. And I have it in Clove 28. So I mix these two together and it comes out perfectly. So that is the only foundation that I am going to be using this week. I didn't even put anything else in my basket to pull from. My eyeshadows, I have three eyeshadows. All are Bare Minerals eyeshadows. So they're ready formula eyeshadows. And actually the two of them are their Gen Nude. One is from the Spring Collection. It's the Floral Utopia Bloom eyeshadow palette. And I still kind of think that this is appropriate for fall. And if I can open this up, I feel out of practice doing this but that is what it looks like so yeah you can get a very pretty full look out of this palette and the other one is the latte palette which is a very neutral sort of warm neutral I guess palette this is one of those palettes that you can probably take on vacation with you because it has like every neutral color it can kind of go with everything but it has that gold in there and I love a good gold eyeshadow so this is one of the um eyeshadow palettes that I'll be using this week the other one I believe is from their Christmas collection last year and it has plenty of fingerprints on it if not last year it was the year before but I do try to collect their um holiday eyeshadow palettes and this is what it looks like this is the Hidden Treasures. This is more of the Ready formula. So those are the Gen Nude um, shadows that I just showed you. And these are just their Ready eyeshadows. Yeah, these are their Ready eyeshadows. And this is what it looks like. This one is much more cool, but still neutral. So I'll be using that this week. And that is all of the eyeshadows that I'll be using this week. I did pull out a bronzer also from Bare Minerals. Um, I was going to pull out the It Cosmetics Hello Cheekbones, but I decided to pull this one out. And this is the Invisible Bronzer um, in the shade Dark to Deep. And it looks like this. Uh, I think, oh! I also have a highlighter and this is the Bare Pro Glow. It's a liquid highlighter and I have it in the shade Joy. And it looks like this. I actually have it on my cheeks today. It comes out looking kind of pink 
when you put it on your hand but when you swatch it out it kind of turns somewhat gold but I thought it looked appropriate with the eyeshadow look that I have on today you can kind of see it here and on this one this one I you just added a little bit more felt like I needed to blend out a little bit more um so I think those are all of the face products that I'm going to be wearing today I take that back that is not right I have the bare minerals bare skin complete coverage serum concealer <laughs> which is this and I have it in the shade probably dark or deep or something um, Lord it's a dark too deep I think it has like the name of it on here and then something black up under the black name so I can't see it but I think this is the shade dark to deep I also pulled out the Bear Pro sort of a stick concealer this one kind of lives in my um makeup basket but this is also in the well this is in the shade dark neutral I guess it's dark neutral 13 yeah I don't know if that 13 has to do with anything but this is the dark neutral um the blushes that I pulled out not surprisingly are from bare minerals i have the genu blush in the shade but first coffee which is the shade that i put on today so this is but first coffee for some reason it looks a lot lighter on i think my lights and stuff are kind of making everything washed out but that is but first coffee um i have another genu blush in the shade peachy keen and it looks like this and once again looking lighter on the camera than it is in real life but let's come back this is peachy keen for one of those nice just flush of color days i have one of their loose blushes which is my favorite of the loose bl loose blushes and i think this one was a limited edition it came in a collection from qvc and this is in the shade bloom this is one of the um their loose mineral blushes that i think is dark enough for women of color a lot of them are not i will swatch this for you this one really really shows up on my skin it's looking like bubblegum pink there but it's a little bit darker than like a bubblegum pink but i really really like the shade bloom and the last blush that I have is one of their Ready Blushes. And this is like an OG. This one is in the shade The French Kiss. And it looks like that. And I will swatch that one for you also. And it probably just, yeah, it probably <laughs> it looks quite a lot like the Bloom one. Maybe that's why I like it. But this one down here at the bottom looking a little bit more pigmented I might add is the French kiss and then bloom is, a, on the, is above it all right so my memory card got full and I stopped with um, the last of the blushes that I was going to be using for the week and the last thing that I have are um, the lip products that I'm going to be using this week and all of these are not bare minerals. I think a couple of them are, but not all of them. So I did pull out a one of the Buxom Full On Lip Creams, <clears throat> which was my favorite one. I had this in a full size, but I don't know what I did with it. But this is in Mudslide, my absolute favorite. This is one of the pop on your lips and go. Um, I pulled out a couple of the lip crayons from Tarte and these are from a couple of Christmases ago these are the lippy lingerie sort of lip crayons and I have it in the shade enchanting which is this one and I will swatch it here and I also have it in the shade desire which is 
the shade here. Um, I pulled out just one of those when I don't feel like being committed to a lip color. This is from ColourPop, one of the So Juicy. I think it was from the summer collection when they had the watermelon eyeshadow palette. Um, this is in the shade Big Slice, and I will swatch that for you. It is a little pigmented, but it still has a sheerness to it. So that's sort of my non-commitment item for the week. I pulled out a um, It Cosmetics. I think this is a lip serum, is it? No, this is a Vitality Butter Gloss. And this is in the shade Believe. And I will swatch this one for you. This one has a little bit of a shimmer to it. But again, also, it just gives your lips a little bit of color. So I can see myself easily right here pulling this one out when I don't feel like doing lip color. I pulled out one of the lip glosses from the Aaliyah collection. This one is in the shade Motor C Lily's Motor City. And I will swatch that. I like this to go on top of something else. Don't quite know what it's going to go on top of. It might just go by itself with a lip liner. Um, it is right there. And I pulled out a gin nude where is it this one one of the gin nude lip glosses in the shade tantalize and definitely one of the ones you can just kind of pop on and you go it is right there my swatches are all going the wrong way now but it is right there and i pulled out one of my own lip glosses from the five o'clock beauty high shine lip gloss line and this is in the shade darling and i will swatch that for you and it is down at the bottom there i don't know why i swatched that right there but it is right here definitely a pop on your lips and go this one has been pretty popular a lot of people are liking the sort of it's sort of a nude color but with a little bit of a peach tone to it so it gives your lips like a life at the same time so that is it those are the lip products those are the face products the blushes that is everything that i will be using this week um i hope you enjoyed the video thank you all so much for watching if you did enjoy it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are already subscribed to my channel, please make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I have a new video coming out. Have a great week and may your day be as flawless as your makeup. And also stay tuned for the eyeshadow palette swatches coming up this week also. Bye.